Imagine home without hot water, a microwave, TV, a fridge. Imagine trying to study at night without light. This is Nolita's world. You may think that Nolita has no electricity, but in fact, she's only here because of electricity. The story of electricity is the story of life itself. It all starts 13.7 billion years ago when electromagnetism emerges at the birth of the universe. This is the force that holds atoms together, the building blocks of all matter. Nearly 4.6 billion years ago, an electromagnetic swirl of dust and gas creates our sun, the leftover grains of stardust, our home. And less than a billion years later, life. All life runs on bioelectricity. It's the way cells communicate, muscles flex, and brains fire up our feelings, thoughts, and dreams. 200,000 years ago, the first human beings are born right here in Africa. Electricity is a mystery. Until our electric brains start to solve it. In 600 BC, the first researcher into electromagnetism, the Greek philosopher Thales, discovers lodestones, naturally occurring magnets, and static electricity when he rubs amber with cat fur. In 1600, William Gilbert coins the Latin term electricus of ember, which becomes electricity. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin goes kite flying in the rain. Attaching a key to the dampened string, sparks jump to his hand, proving that lightning is electrical. Don't try this at home. The next few decades bring a flurry of invention. 1800, Alessandro Volta, the battery. In 1831, Michael Faraday, electric motor. In 1878, Joseph Swan, light bulb. In 1882, Thomas Edison opens the first commercial power station in Pearl Street, New York City. It can power 5,000 lights. The same year, Kimberley becomes the first city in Africa with electric streetlights. London still uses gas. In 1891, Table Bay gets Africa's first central power station. Not long after, Cape Town City Council commissions the first hydroelectric one. In 1894, the company Siemens and Halska supplies electricity to Johannesburg and Pretoria. A year later, the Rand Central Electric Works builds the first commercial power plant in Brackpan. Water for the plant is bought from President Paul Kruger's farm, Gedult. Mining companies can no longer rely on small lighting plants. 1898, they start General Electric Power Company. On the 6th of March, 1923, the government of Jan Smart establishes the Electricity Supply Commission. 